Hi guys, welcome back to 100% Mag. So here we are again with another preview on the channel. This time to talk about our first involvement in the League Cup this season. Uh, in our 63rd involvement in the League Cup overall. Uh, as we take on Tramia Rovers down in Tramia uh, in the second round tie against a League 2 outfit. A side that of course made it into this round. Thanks to an 11-12 win on penalties against Akron and Stanley. Uh, and this game will be played at 7.45 this coming Wednesday at Brunton Park. Uh, Newcastle sold out our full allocation of 2,200 places uh, for this game. And those seats are in the cow shed uh, stand behind one of the goals. The same area that we occupied, of course, on our last visit uh, to Brunton Park back in 2000 and of course the outcome must be achieved on the night for this game uh, with tie going to penalties in the event of a draw in 90 minutes hopefully it doesn't have to go that far hopefully we can just go into this game and win it outright but that doesn't mean that you know we we'll go into this game underestimating uh, Tramia Rovers we have had upsets in the past look at last season with Cambridge United you know hopefully you know that's a different matter now that we've got Eddie Howe at the helm he knows what he's doing he knows how to get the team firing on all Sundays in this talk as well uh, which we will talk about in a moment of Elliot Anderson making a feature in this game as well of course he's played already down in League 2 uh, when he was with Bristol Rovers last season but of course Looking at the Tramia Rovers say going into this game, they're going to have a player called uh, Josh Hawkins, uh, who moved to Tramia from the Mackhams, having come through their academy. The Stockton born forward, of course, netted against Newcastle Knights under 23s, uh, both home and away during the 20, uh, 2021 season, and currently managed, of course, by Mickey uh, Mallon. Rovers uh, advanced to, of course, the second round. Uh, to play against us, thanks to, like I said, you know, that 11 12 penalty shootout success over Akron and Stanley following on from their 2 2 draw in that game. Um, like I say, you know, looking at we're going into this game, uh, it's anticipated that Elliot Anderson will make his League Cup debut in this tie. He's no stranger at Brunton Park, of course, like I just mentioned, uh, netting their last season in League Two while on loan at Bristol Rovers in a 1 1 draw. Uh, the referee for the game is going to be none other than Anthony Backhouse. Uh, first senior competitive game involving us for the Cumbrian official as well. So he is from the northeast, um, And of course, who took charge of Newcastle's under-21s uh, when, of course, they lost 2-0 at Harrogate Town in the EFL Trophy last season looking at the last 10 league cup away ties uh, for the 2021 season of course we lost 1-0 in the fifth round to Brentford and uh, of course we won on penalties in the fourth round against Newport County uh, and we won 7-0 in the third round of that same season against Morecambe uh, in that game uh, the season for 18-19, of course, uh, we lost 3-1 to Nottingham Forest in the second round. 16-17 was a loss on penalties in the fifth round. So if you look at it out of the past six games, I believe it is uh, away in the League Cup. We have won two of the last six uh, away in the League Cup. So... Not the greatest of results of recent times away from home in the League Cup, but things have changed. That was under the old regime. This is a new ownership now at Newcastle United. A manager that knows what he's doing as well at Newcastle. And, you know, we are going to hopefully come away from this game with the three points in the bag. Like I say, looking at it with visits to Brunton Park as well. The last time we played there was the 99-2000 season. We won 3-2 in the FA Cup sixth round tie against Tramia there. Uh, the season previous to that, of course, was a 1-0 win in the League Cup. The season previous, uh, of course, of 92-93 in the league. 
uh, for Division 1, we won 3 0 uh, against Tramia. And of course, the 91 92 season, uh, we lost 3 2 to Tramia in Division 2. Uh, and of course, no mention of Tramia Rovers would be complete without recalling, of course, that bizarre evening in October of 91. Uh, when, of course, they shared 12 goals with Newcastle over 120 minutes before, of course, beating with uh, 3-2 in a penalty show to decide, uh, of course, the game on the Zenith Data Systems Cup tie. Uh, but hopefully that isn't the case on Wednesday. Hopefully, you know, we can go into the game and we can come out uh, with the win and move through to the third round tie of the League Cup. I've got all... Confidence in the world uh, that we can as well after that performance we put in uh, against Manchester City and after the other two performances we've put in this season as well. This is going to be a pretty tasty game uh, when you look at it. You know, we are in sixth place in the Premier League. Tramia Rove has it in 17th place in League Two. That is a massive gap. Uh, between the two teams and this is going to be a very interesting game and um, I wouldn't expect you know Eddie Howe to go full first team I'd expect him to be going with maybe the likes of Emmy Craft uh, in there you know we'll maybe still see the likes of Jamal Lascelles come into the side as well and um, maybe you know Sven Botman will play in the game or it could just be Dan Byrne uh, and Jamal Lascelles uh, in there. Goalkeeper, I think, is going to be Martin De Brafka coming in between the sticks for that one. I think, you know, Eddie Howe is going to want to give Nick Pope a little bit of a rest, as we do have after this, of course, uh, the game against Wolves away. Then we do have that game against Liverpool as well. So um, this is a chance, you know, for Eddie to give a few of the first teamers a rest, uh, allow some of the younger lads uh, a chance to come into the side. And some of the guys, you know, that are playing a rotation squad, like Jacob Murphy, you know, see Jacob Murphy come into the side uh, as well. Maybe Paul Dummett gets a game uh, here as well against Tramia Rovers. There's a lot of options open for Eddie Howe uh, heading into this game. And I'm going to go for Newcastle to come away from this one uh, with a 3 0 win against Tramia Rovers. I'm very confident that we can pick up the win and uh, move through to the third round. And, you know, at the end of the day, Tramia Rovers are going to be up for this as well. It's not every day you get to play uh, a team of Newcastle United's calibre, especially, you know, they'll have been having a good look at that game yesterday, I'm sure, uh, against Manchester City, you know, trying to find weaknesses in where, but it's going to be a tough game for them. And we're, you know, just going to have to go in there and do what we do uh, best and, you know, come away with a win. Well, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you haven't seen the other video I put out uh, today as well, do go check that out. Um, of course, that was a, quite an interesting video. Let us know your thoughts on that one down in uh, the comments section of that video. Also, let us know your thoughts heading into this game against Tramia Rovers down in the comments section as well. And any Tramia Rovers fans that may be watching this, uh, video you know let us know what your thoughts are going into this game you know how are you feeling uh going into this game against a team you know that at the moment is on the rise we are looking really good uh you know and we look like the team to beat at the moment uh so you know any Tramia Rovers fans that are watching let us know your thoughts down in the comments below as well and before we end off the video um of course if you haven't seen the review for the game against Manchester City, do go check it out. Please do hit a like on it, as it does help the channel to grow. Uh, until next time, I'll see you all later, and how are the lads?